Welcome once again to today's video. My name is Nathan, and I'll be your guide to this wonderful game we all love. Let's get started with some news. It has been a while since my last upload. Life got really busy, and I've had a bit of a motivation drought. Uh, and I wanted to take this opportunity to be a little more transparent about some of the things that I've got going on. First, some projects. The video that I'm working on right now, or maybe I've already uploaded, I haven't decided yet when I'm posting this, uh, is part of my effort to rebuild some of the decks that taught me the most about this game using the knowledge I've accumulated since then. When I finally finish uploading them, uh, I'll be giving away several sets of tokens I've made for many of the decks I've built for the channel up until now, including some of Merkel's most prominent game pieces, but also, I think Optimus Prime would be more happy with Energon than with Treasure, and the Dark Lord Sauron's armies of orcs and Lazotep zombies don't quite seem complete without some accessories. Stay tuned for updates on that. My next big project, though, is something I hope you will share my excitement about. Uh, many Magic the Gathering content creators have some video talking about lands, but whether it's a tier list or a guide, uh, I felt like a lot of these videos are missing something, uh, and so this is the resource that I wish was around when I got into Magic. Um, a comprehensive, exhaustive documentation of every land in the format. And it's interactive. You can find lands by name, or the name of a cycle they might be part of, sort by any typings or extra abilities they might have, whether or not they enter tapped, or even, for the first time ever, maybe, uh, you can just search for lands based on how good they are at being lands. Not how popular they are, like you might find on EDHREC, but an actual, quantifiable, numerical way to measure how good a land is at being a land. And since the strength of some lands depends on how long the game lasts, you can even view how different game lengths affect your favorite lands. Finally, definitively answering questions like, is Temple of the False God any good? What about those bounce lands? I've heard a lot of talk about them. Uh, lots of people are talking about those surveil lands now. What do we think of those? The only hiccup is how much work that takes. Uh, Wizards of the Coast has adopted something of a fire hose release schedule, and it is a lot of work to maintain uh, that kind of resource with all the lands that keep being released. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that up to date yet or not. And the somewhat recent string of retiring YouTubers has definitely raised my awareness of just how much time and effort uh, this kind of hobby costs. So if this kind of resource really interests you, or you want to and are comfortably able to financially support the channel, uh, head on over to Patreon. That's absolutely what pays the bills and helps me afford enough time to participate in the community as much as I do. Of course, if you're not able to chip in financially, uh, press the YouTube buttons. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, of course. Um, what is up with this graph? Why are only so many of you subscribed? Hmm? Come on. Uh, but most of all, share these videos. The EDH rec effect is alive and well in 2024, people. Uh, more people were running Padim in my update to the Urza Chief Artificer video than were running Padim in when I originally made that video. Stop. Share. On the subject of my workload, there are a lot of decks on my to-build list, and not all of them actually require all of the attention that I might give to a full deck deck. And more to the point, if the commander is old enough, if it's just a quick touch-up and not a complete overhaul, doesn't make a lot of sense for me to invest this amount of time uh, into a video for a commander that not as many people are building anymore. It's bad for the numbers. So one thing that I'm going to experiment more with uh, in the future 
are uh, smaller deck techs uh, that concentrate some similar commanders uh, that I think don't need the full uh, attention of a of one of my usual videos, uh, but really just need a quick touch up uh, or maybe a paradigm shift is a more accurate way to describe it. Uh, maybe someone lost focus, uh, and I don't have to dedicate the amount of time to that that I would for a commander that's, say, really open-ended, and it's hard to know exactly what direction to go with this uh, and make any corrections based on there. But this weird kind of three-deck video format is something I've experimented with in the past. Um, I definitely was not satisfied with the way these two videos uh, worked structurally, uh, so I'm going to tinker around with how I want that kind of video to be formatted. So don't expect too many similarities, but I think it would be a load off my shoulders if, and a better use of your time as a viewer uh, if I expanded the kinds of content that I make, as well as probably slow down production a bit. Uh, in the past, I've tried to do one video each week, uh, and that has shown itself to be a lot uh, with my new schedule. And I'm thinking it probably needs to move back to every other week, if I'm being completely honest with myself. And more than just the workload uh, that goes into making these videos, uh, that last video I made about my favorite deck as a kind of scrapbook of times spent with friends, uh, it brought back a lot of memories for me. Uh, some of them with friends I will never see again. Uh, and that has been a blow to my motivation as well. Oh, right. Uh, my birthday is coming up as well. Uh, I'll probably do something for that. Um, not a whole lot. I really just want to take the day off. Um, I was planning on a much longer video to talk about my personal decks, uh, but I think we could do something more informal like this. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, politics. Uh, the best deals you've never made. Uh, I haven't decided yet if that's going to be a patron video or if it should go to the main channel. Uh, a lot of the topics that I think are more interesting to talk about uh, go, just go to the Patreon just because I'm not sure how well they'll do on YouTube. Uh, but let me know what you all think in the comments if you would want to, if that's the kind of thing you'd be interested in. And as a token of gratitude for making it this long uh, into the video, I have recently acquired a very large supply uh, of Magic Arena promo cards uh, that I cannot use because uh, they only let you use five from a given set. Uh, and so I am going to be sharing a lot of those with you first come, first serve basis uh, in a couple of videos over the next however long these last. Uh, just keep an eye out for those. My way of saying uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.